There's so many videos out there on how to create the perfect landing page, but I think that uh, some of them are actually missing a crucial point, which uh, I'm going to discuss in this video together with uh, an overview on uh, how to create uh, a successful landing page. And we're going to do that by using uh, three different examples of free companies, uh, which are on uh, different marketplaces. And uh, they are going to essentially teach you how you have to think about landing page design uh, in uh, different ways, uh, depending on the type of company on uh, their stage and uh, the target market. So let's get started with the very first one, which uh, is probably a company that you're very familiar with, uh, and especially the landing page, since uh, it's one of the most quoted landing page by clients at my agency, and that is a Stripe uh, uh, website. So let's get started and let's talk about uh, why it's uh, such a great uh, landing page. So first of all, uh, we are greeted with uh, this interesting gradient, which is uh, an extra, it's a visual element which drives interest to a page and it makes it look dynamic. So it feels like the page is alive. Now, even more important than these uh, visuals is uh, how they immediately clarify what uh, the Stripe is about. So they have uh, this headline, which is payments infrastructure for the internet, uh, which uh, gives you a clear overview idea of uh, what they're about. And this is something that you always uh, need to clarify right away whenever you're building a landing page. Uh, what is the company about? Uh, why should uh, people continue learning and uh, going through your page and learning about your products or services? And uh, right below that, uh, since of course you cannot convey everything in the headline, the headline needs to be a grab to catch the attention. Right below it, you're going to find a brief description of the company services. So this is a great opportunity to expand upon the concepts that you basically discussed and in the headline with together a call to action, two call to actions in this case. Start now in order to get started with more visual emphasis, this button, compared to the second option, which is contact sales, in this case, it's going to be a classic, uh, you know, contact flow whenever you have any questions. So this is always great to have, uh, depending on the circumstances, of course. And if we have a look on the right, uh, we can see this uh, beautiful image of uh, both the main dashboard and also this uh, mobile payment screen. Now, this is uh, strategic in the way that uh, they're communicated immediately what uh, Stripe is about. So you can have a glimpse of uh, their dashboards and uh, a picture tells a thousand words, they say in Italy. So this uh, is actually really, really uh, useful to get uh, as a user, as well as uh, the mobile portion of it. So you already know that it's going to be flows that are responsive and uh, also, if you added two desktop versions, two desktop screens, uh, you probably wouldn't be able to uh, showcase uh, this. Uh, so this is a really nice uh, and well thought out uh, illustration overall. Now, the moment that we start scrolling below, you can immediately see logos of uh, big companies. Uh, so this is Social Proof. And uh, Social Proof uh, is uh, a very important element, uh, especially for customers who are, are not uh, or leads uh, who are not uh, um, really uh, already have knowledge about your company. So here you're stating we're doing this uh, and uh, and this is what we're about. Oh, and by the way, it's being used the service by this big company. So this is um, always uh, good to have social proof in the form of you know, logos in the form of uh, testimonials by past clients uh, and uh, anything that uh, could uh, essentially communicate uh, to the user, we are great, uh, but we're not telling it directly. It's other people, especially at higher levels, who are saying great things about our company. So this is something which is um, very important. And then we're going into the features. So this one uh, is going to be a section where, you know, they're, they're talking about uh, their, their features, you want to prioritize what are the elements uh, 
and uh, services that uh, you want to promote the most. So whenever you're creating a landing page, always think in terms of creating a visual hierarchy. So think about it as a pyramid where you have different uh, layers uh, of uh, elements that you want to communicate and you have to think through what are the most important thing that they want to communicate right away to the user. What is the secondary elements that you want to communicate? Thirdary and so on and so forth. So by creating this, you can reverse engineer what are going to be the sections in the landing page, which is going to make a whole lot of difference whenever you are actually uh, wireframing the, the base structure and then uh, of course the design. So very important. And then uh, here from a stylistic perspective, apart from the fact that this uh, globe looks absolutely amazing, this interaction. From a stylistic perspective, this is interesting because uh, everything uh, up until this point, uh, apart from this, this gradient, of course, was light design. And then they decided to break up the layout with uh, this uh, horizontal um, diagonal section, which uh, is dark. So this grabs the attention because uh, it's a pattern interrupt uh, within uh, the visual of the landing page. So something that you can definitely use uh, and leverage at your advantage. There's all sorts of ways that you can do that. You can also use color, you can use um, backgrounds of uh, different sorts. And then uh, overall, they're continuing with uh, more features, uh, more social proof, as you can see. So here is a uh, um, literally, I'm, from what I'm, I'm understanding, case studies. So this, this big company, BMW, is using uh, uh, these products related to Stripe. They're using, Amazon is using this one. So it's almost like a mini case study without having to click and read uh, you know, the whole article, which people nowadays, uh, unless they're really invested uh, in what you're, you're uh, looking to say, probably not going to do so great uh, great uh, approach over here then more features and uh, so on and uh, so forth we're not going to go um, section by section i want to keep this video more high level and uh, we're going to continue with another company which is click funnels now this uh, company it's going to be a, a little bit different because uh, it's more marketing oriented or it's actually 100% marketing oriented. So you're going to find a lot of patterns that uh, especially marketers use, uh, which uh, are quite uh, uh, interesting uh, to consider. So first of all, they're talking about the pain point uh, right away, struggling to get a constant flow of customers mid click funnels which is going to be the solution so pain solution really really important getting people to your website and turning them into happy paying customers is what we do best so people who are facing uh, this uh, uh, this problem it's uh, very clear that they are a solution to that massive call to action start your free trial today so with uh, very little ask on their part or actually almost no ask because it's a free trial no contracts cancel any time further reassurance that there isn't a big commitment into this zero computer skills needed works for every type of business market sell and deliver like a pro so these are all the potential elements that could overcome objections for example Maybe someone uh, who's uh, reading this, they think, oh, well, I'm not too good with softwares. Zero computer skills needed. This is a way to overcome objection without uh, um, having to, you know, hop on a, scale, on a sales call and doing all those uh, manual uh, processes. Then uh, as uh, we scroll down, uh, remember that uh, I'm going to actually re uh, refresh this so we can see the most recent version. You can see that uh, the video is already playing uh, without uh, having to click. So they're not waiting for the user to actually engage and, and click on the video. The thing is already, it's already going. And uh, basically you can click in order to see the sound or actually hear the sound. And uh, essentially this is going to be 
an element of uh, dynamism to, to start getting them into the software and what they want to communicate. Here again, a little bit of uh, the features right away. So, so uh, a user doesn't need to scroll too much in order to understand what's going on. And uh, again, as we saw in uh, the previous website, social proof uh, by big uh, marketers, big business owners. And um, yeah, it's going to be a super, super crucial in uh, most elements. Features, and uh, they start with a storytelling. So why a funnel? Let's face it, uh, a website without paying customers is like building a store in the middle of the desert without a single road leading to it. That's where a funnel comes in. A funnel is like a digital road that moves your dream customers to your website and into your online store with their credit cards in hand. So they are essentially selling you on the concept and also teaching you on the concept of a funnel because uh, some people might not know what uh, a funnel is, especially people who aren't in the uh, digital realm of marketing, design, development. So this uh, is um, obviously something that you, you'll need to make uh, your own uh, decision if uh, you need sections like this. If a customer, for example, is already familiar with uh, the type of services um, that you're offering, such as a website. Pretty much everybody knows what a website is. I wouldn't have a section in um, the London page of uh, a web design agency explaining what is a website. So this is uh, what I was talking at the beginning of the video. It really depends on, your, on the target market, uh, how you're going to structure and what you're going to communicate uh, in uh, the landing page, because some landing pages are going to work wonders uh, if uh, structured correctly but if you add the wrong sections uh, even though it's a, a section which uh, everybody adds uh, or you know it's a it's a nice have section according to the several blog posts on how to create a, a perfect landing page you won't have much success so you always have to decide uh, by yourself and make your own uh, um, your, your own logic, really. It's uh, almost like a, a puzzle uh, that you have uh, on the table. You have so many different pieces of, of the puzzle, or actually Lego pieces. Let's, uh, let's use that example. And uh, you have to decide which one is going to be the best uh, one that you use to create your very own personal project. So all of these elements, social proof, uh, you know, uh, storytelling, uh, uh, all of these elements here, you're going to have to make your own uh, decisions uh, uh, based on uh, the specific landing page that uh, you're building. And again, uh, as we scroll here below, you can find uh, even more call to actions, quite uh, quite big, uh, and uh, overall, uh, yeah, just, uh, just using a lot of uh, really interesting uh, sections, like even this, this illustration right here, it's not much about the aesthetics uh, as a lot of designers focus on uh, just creating like nice aesthetics. This is actually showing, you know, the original version, past version, and uh, this version right here with uh, some further reassurance from Russell Branson, which is a very big uh, uh, personality and uh, celebrity in the funnel space. And uh, they're showing uh, an illustration which clearly communicates uh, that you're basically going to print money from uh, all of uh, the traffic that you're acquiring from social venues, uh, bringing them to the to the funnel, and then it's going to, to print money. So this is going to essentially communicate uh, some uh, elements uh, which uh, are functional for the business. So you always have to think about it in, uh, in that way and not uh, really focus too much on the aesthetics. Now, as you scroll down, uh, you can see even more features, clear call to actions to start the free trial. As you can see, it's uh, literally everywhere. So it's extremely easy for the user to get started on a trial. And uh, again, all of, the, all of the different features that they offer, I assume if I click on uh, one, I'm going to be redirected to a page, as you can see, where I can expand upon the feature. So they're not, uh, putting everything in the main 
landing page, but where they're dissecting the information and just keeping the high level, as you mentioned earlier, just keeping that top level uh, pyramid of uh, hierarchy. And um, yeah, that's essential for, for any landing page, really. Now let's move on to another example, which uh, is going to be the final one. And uh, this is uh, to show you that uh, all of the things that we just discussed, uh, you can partially discredit if you're working with a company at a different level. So Apple, Apple, as you know, is a Fortune 500 company, one of the top companies in the US and the worldwide, really. So they don't really need all that much of a social proof, for example. So as you can see, the moment that I go on Apple, I'm going to see the products different sections of the products. They don't have an FAQ section uh, right here on the landing page. They don't have, uh, you know, social proof uh, logos being used by these other companies. Uh, um, how Apple can, can help you uh, do X, uh, how uh, we are better than, than comp company Y, uh, what are we about? Uh, Apple is just showing the products. And uh, why is this? Because Everybody already knows what Apple is about. They already are very familiar with the Apple products for the very most part. So they're just showing you what's new, any uh, element that uh, might be interesting for you and, uh, and the products. So as you can see, if you're working on the landing page of a company, which is extremely well known as Apple, you can just, uh, deliver the main uh, the main product information and uh, any new feature or product uh, really and uh, you can be set so again don't see landing page designs as a checklist of oh i need to do this and this and this and it's a, a fixed structured landing page uh, you know checklist you always have to think about uh, what is the end goal who are going to be the end users of this landing page or the visitors? What is the target market? What does the target market want? How can I communicate this uh, in the most efficient way and the fastest way as possible? So all those things uh, are going to depend uh, on a project uh, by project basis. So I really hope this video was helpful. Uh, I myself am a designer with over a decade of experience uh, and uh, I share my knowledge here on YouTube as well as uh, other social platforms like Twitter. And um, yeah, I'll uh, see you in the very next video.